the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Christ is among us. He is among us. Beloved children, as you already see, we live in an ever-changing world. Nothing stays the same especially in the last few decades because of the rapid development in technology, many jobs just disappear. Many professions disappear because the work that used to be done by people is, do is done now by robots or is not needed anymore. It's done by big machinery. I remember when I served in Saskatchewan, I, I used to go from Regina to Assiniboia and Flintoft and Limerick to some, and, and uh, Wood Mountain once in a while to serve those small communities where only a few people were left and they kept the church and the cemetery next to the church and they used to have villages around the church. Now there was nothing left. But they kept the church and the cemetery out of love and respect. But there was nobody left because farmers were not needed anymore. Because now two, three people with tractors and combines could work hundreds of, of acres of land and people were not needed anymore. And those people moved to the city. They found different jobs. And as I said, everything is ever changing. I'm telling you about this because I know that a while ago we talked about what you would like to become in life, what profession you would like to have in life. And it is very good, it is very wise to decide from a young age what career, what profession you would like to have in life so that you could start preparing yourself from now for the profession, for the career that you want to have when you grow up. But I also want to tell you today to be flexible. If things change, if things happen, and the profession that you prepared for, that you studied for, that you are loving is not needed anymore, it's not the end of the world. You are not your profession. You are not your career. You are a child of God. That's who you really are. And then you do some things for a living, but that's not who you are. It's just your profession. We see our Lord Jesus Christ calling Peter and Andrew and then James and John into this gospel. He calls them from being fishermen to become fishers of men, to become apostles. He asked them to make a change in their career, a very big change in their career. And they left their nets and their boats and their families and they followed the Lord. I think that the Lord, I'm firmly convinced, this is not from the Holy Fathers, this is, you know, just you know, something that I personally believe that the Lord, that the Lord chose as his apostles, as his first apostles, fishermen, because fishermen have to be very flexible in their thinking. As a fisherman, there is only so much you can do, but you have to, to have a good catch, and you always have to adjust and to change, and at the same time to be perseverant. Fishermen get up in the morning, in the morning they go to the lake or to the sea or the river to catch fish. They do everything that they know they should do to have a good catch, but then it is up to God what they catch. And if they don't catch something in one spot, what do they do? They move to another spot. If they don't catch anything there, they try a, a different bite or a different place they are perseverant, they don't give up, they are also flexible all the time. Because this is this type of people the Lord needed as his apostles. 
Because as apostles, when they preached the gospel, sometimes the gospel was well received in some cities, sometimes it was not. And they had to be inventive, flexible, and perseverant. As the Lord told them, if you are not well received into a town, shake off the dust and move on to the next town. And this is what we have to do many times in life. If our profession is not needed anymore, glory to God, we move on. We try to learn a different trade, a different profession, and we move on because we try to find what is needed for, by the society, what is needed by the world for its salvation, and we try to work together with God and with the people around us for improving the world around us. So please keep this in mind, that you are not your profession. You are a child of God. Do whatever you can. Prepare yourself. Be perseverant, but at the same time, be flexible. You know the beauty of the Great Canyon. That wonderful beauty created by water. But you know that the Great Canyon, it is so beautiful because it is not straight, right? It goes around and around and around. Because the water was very flexible, it avoided the hard rocks, and it carved through the softer rocks, but it was also very perseverant in creating a beautiful canyon. God bless you. May the Lord help all of us to be perseverant and flexible like the fishermen. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Spirit. Amen.